Hello beautiful animals. I hope this video finds you well and I want to speak a bit about shadow work and I'm going to talk about my experiences because I'm not fully certified in any particular shadow work route but I have had a number of experiences in group work with the model developed by Cliff Berry and the basic premise of that is that when we're born, we have this perfect balance of four primary energies. And those energies can be mapped onto both kind of our, our human qualities, and um, there's also like animal instincts that are, that are mapped onto those, and they're archetypal. So many things can be layered into that. And so they are sovereign, lover, warrior, and magician. And they are, when we're born, you know, this kind of like imperfect harmony that we can access and work with them. And, you know, different things occur when we're young. Culture, our families, whatever traumas we've inherited. And I would even argue that we could be impacted in utero, like, Whatever your belief is about when the soul meets the body, I think that um, certainly, you know, when we're in our mothers, things can occur too that can um, cause some of these energies to be kind of put away or packed away or put in shadow, as we would say. So as we're growing up, things occur. We may be shamed for behavior. We may be, um, you know, scared by seeing somebody else's behavior. We may, um, yeah, just like get in trouble for something and um, sort of put things down inside of ourselves because it wasn't safe when we were small to kind of be our full, our full being. And so in like a group shadow work process, which I was so lucky to attend one last weekend and I had my own process and it was beautiful and amazing and I'm so grateful to the facilitators who are dear friends and um, have just been with me for the past five years on my journey. And so um, in that experience, basically what I was looking for when I was in that group was how can I practice being in an energy that I'm not as familiar with, but actually touching that part of myself so that I have access to it later on after I leave the container of the group. So I've done this with all four of the energies. Like I said, Sovereign, which was my process last weekend. I've done Work and Lover, um, Warrior, certainly Magician. So it's sort of being able to step in See what the dynamic in your life is, understand through regressing it when that first like started in you, like what was the trigger moment when that really uh, was put into shadow and then whether it's, you know, like I say I love groups but there's also one-on-one -on -one coaching, awesome coaches all over the world that do this and so you can then practice what energy do you want to work through and work with to resolve whatever that situation is? And so for myself, you know, a little bit more personal and vulnerable example, I grew up very much in touch with the emotion of grief, very much in, you know, I've always been in my heart and very kind of like lover centered, so very watery, emotional. And so for me, um, I would oftentimes maybe be feeling something that wasn't necessarily lover energy, but I would like immediately go to that place because that was the most comfortable for me. And that was the most, that was where I, I was the strongest. I, you know, um, would kind of default into feeling lover. And that results in like situations where like, I'd be crying at the grocery store or something really minor would happen, but it would like totally trigger me into this place of grief. And it was a little bit intense to, um, you know, go through college like that or whatever. And so I came to realize that I actually had access to other parts of myself that I could play with and that I could, um, use in different situations that might actually be more appropriate than like breaking down in tears. Uh, given whatever the circumstance was. 
So yeah, as I've, as I've learned about myself and kind of what's shaped me to have the experiences um, that I've had as an adult, I've been able to come into more of a balance with those four archetypal energies. And I'm so grateful for that because kind of the grocery store just isn't that fun. Um, doesn't matter what's going on, just not a place you wanna be feeling that strong of an emotion. So yeah, um, I really encourage you, I hope this has kind of piqued your curiosity to look into this, uh, this modality. There's the shadowwork.com website has a lot of resources on it, including an audio file that does a much broader overview than I just gave of the four archetypes. And you can kind of, as you're listening to it, you can say, you can pick out like, oh, I'm really strong in that one. Oh, I'm not so familiar with that one. You can get a sense of where you're at. And then I also really recommend Alice Berry's book um, called uh, Practically Shameless. It's awesome. I just reread re it and sent it to my mom. And, um, what else? Just uh, if you're interested in groups, I mean, you meet amazing people when you're in a, a space where everyone has agreed to go into these places together. So there's group work, there's one-on-one -on -one work. Um, yeah, explore shadow work. It's awesome. It'll totally help change your life. So that's all. See you later.